All right. Thanks for tuning in, everyone. This is Anthony Smoke. As always, if you learned something, go ahead, hit that like button, leave a comment, and make sure you ring the bell so you get a notification when I drop a new video. You can also find me on the gram at Anthony Smoke Data. All right, today we are in Excel. And so I'm going to show you how to perform a really quick and easy sentiment analysis, otherwise known as opinion mining in Excel. So why do you need to know about sentiment analysis? If you're a data analyst or someone that works in market research, social media monitoring, or even political analysis, you'll want to gauge public opinion and sentiment towards your brand, products, services, and marketing campaigns. So sentiment analysis can help you identify strengths, weaknesses, and areas for improvement based upon customer feedback. And so I'm using financial uh, data to perform my sentiment analysis. Normally you can access this data from Twitter or scrape from a website using Python or API access. But for simplicity, I have a data set from Kaggle with some financial statements, but I'm gonna demonstrate for you how to do a simple Microsoft Excel sentiment analysis against that data. So let me show you what I have first, and then we'll get into the basics. Okay, so in this workbook here, or this worksheet I should say, the star of the show in this analysis are these two columns, sentiment and score. This is what Microsoft Excel is going to generate for us, these two columns. You have to come to the party with some text. So this is what the raw text looks like from that data set that I showed you earlier, right? It's just a bunch of raw text, and we're going to use Microsoft Excel to give us the sentiment, whether it's positive, neutral, or negative, and a score. The closer the score is to one, the more positive the text is, the closer it is to zero, the more negative the text is. And I can change up the ticker symbol. Let's go, uh, let's go Amazon here. And if I clear this and get the match status, essentially what's happening is um, this column is searching for the ticker or the name in this text. And if it gets a hit, it returns match. And so this is giving us the average of the sentiment score and a little conditional formatting to get arrows here. And so, you know, Amazon declares best ever Black Friday, positive. And what's some negative here? Uh, Amazon has been selling surveillance cameras infected with malware, negative. That's obviously negative. And so this data is about uh, from about 2011. So I know it's, it's old, but for our purposes, it does pretty well for the sentiment analysis. Okay, let's go ahead and make the magic happen here. I'm going to show you how to get that sentiment and that score from Microsoft Excel. So we can use that uh, to build out the, uh, the worksheet here. So first thing you're going to do, let's go to File, Get Add-ins, and you're going to look for Azure. And you'll see Azure Machine Learning show up. Let's go ahead and add it. Now again, if you are using proprietary company data, uh, make sure you feel comfortable with the license terms and the privacy policy. If you're using you know, public data from Twitter or something like that, you could probably feel a little better about uh, continuing on, right? Data privacy is a must. Okay, so now um, this pop-up is gonna show up here. We want this text sentiment analysis Excel add-in sample. That's fine. Let's click that. And so what I'm going to do, let's, let's uh, get rid of what's in here and we'll start from scratch. So I'm going to select this right here and it's going to ask me to select the data. I'm going to start at the top with my column header, say OK, and I'll keep my, uh, my data has headers. I'll keep this checked and then output and I'm going to select B1 here. So all I'm going to do is select B1, put that in there and sentiment analysis B1 for my output. But let's look at this schema real quick, just so we understand. Um, in order for the model to work, the text column, your text column, has to be named tweet text. So we'll go ahead and change this to tweet text. 
right? That has to be name that. And so it's going to give us two outputs, a sentiment and a score. And it's going to put that here. It's going to start in B1. It's going to put the heading sentiment and the uh, heading score here. Then it's going to put in the actual data here. So we'll go back down here to predict, include the headers. Now I'm going to hit predict and watch the magic happen. It's going to grind. And there we go. I've got a sentiment and I have a score. And as I said before, the closer I am to one, it's positive. The closer I am to zero, it's negative and neutral somewhere in between. So it's just as easy as that. And so all I've done is I've taken this and just put it into a nice, you know, format here. And then as I change the val the ticker symbol here, it'll do a lookup. So let's do uh, Netflix. Where are my Netflix investors? Big up this week, right? <laughs> so when I change this here, I've got a lookup that goes against this ticker symbol and returns the name of the company. And then all I have to do is return matches and I can get that sentiment. Uh, we like the sentiment on Netflix back in 2011, which I'm gonna assume this data set is based upon. This has been Anthony Smoke. Hope you learned something new here. Uh, if you have a large data set that could overwhelm Excel, then by all means, use Python, right? Python's gonna give you, it's gonna handle nuances of language, recognize sarcasm and irony. Uh, go ahead and use Python. For Excel, right, you have a small data set, you need quick insights from a familiar interface, you don't have time to custom code a solution, Excel is going to get the job done. So this has been Anthony Smoke, showed you how to perform a basic sentiment analysis in Excel. Get out there, do some great things with your data, stay data-driven, Thanks for watching, everyone.